I must put up a bigger or tougher screen for other people to, to get closer to me. Actually, uh, what do you put? I put on my hands. I on your hand? On my, on my neck. A little on the neck. And a little bit on the clothes. A little bit on the clothes? See, now you know how difficult I am. <laughs> hey guys, we're back with another special episode of Vintage Shopping, guys. I enjoy Sumi Kitazawa so much. I had to go back for part two. See you then. <laughs> we are going to Shimo. As I was saying in that failed intro, we're gonna go to Shimo again, take my family with me as well, have some fun. As I did mention in episode two, there were so many places that I could have gone to that I didn't really have time to go to as well at. It was pretty much endless vintage. Yeah, gotta come back, gotta come back. So, perfect opportunity. What are you looking for today, bro? I'm ready. <laughs> What's your favorite meal so far, Kat? I'm not ready. <laughs> Family's pretty hungry, so we're just gonna get a feed first. You need some lunch? I got going to be going to all the shops that I didn't go to in that first video, checking out what they have today. Just finished at Mikmo, pretty decent shop. I did walk by that thing in my last video as I was going home for the train. Definitely some decent workwear selection. I tried on those two mechanic type shirts, whatever you want to call them, plumbing shirts, bowling shirts. Really love that sort of genre of clothing, right? <laughs> really looking for that sort of genre of clothing as the weather in Tokyo kind of gets a bit, a bit more warmer as well, but it's fit a bit too big for me. I think they're both double XL. I would have copped it for a bit smaller. Pretty decent price, I think like 1,500 yen. So on to the next one. Check that height in Ashbury here yeah, next to Flamingo. Real decent, man. Um, probably one of the biggest, like, four areas. It's upstairs, level two. A lot of different workwear, different vintage t shirts as well. Recommend expensive, but I recommend, recommend going there if you want to check something out of that type of genre of clothing. So, moving on to the next one. Let's go. Ah. Focus more of that sort of high-end streetwear type of style. You know, I can't even name any brands, but it was good. <laughs> so check it out, please. We're just outside the next shop. It's called uh, it's called Brick. <laughs> Pretty decent. Let's go inside, check it out. Looking for sort of a sweater. Just for sort of that autumn time, bro, that genre, you know? So, gonna get that. Hopefully, find it. Flash cow. Finish a big brick ah, that big brick big camera. Ended up copying that grey sweater with the contrast uh, collar and sleeve as well. It was a 2,900 yen. Real decent fit as well. I also tried on that LL Bean green parka. Real nice fit actually. It was, it was size large. It was about I think it was like 12,000 yen. Forgot the price now. <laughs> I was gonna cop but the sleeves were a bit too big and I didn't really want to have that type of fit so end up just getting that grey sweater instead but uh, it's something I was looking for I guess but you know So is there anything you wanna buy yet Kaz? 
I'll show you. <laughs> Up was pretty interesting, more of those bespoke like leather jackets and corduroy jackets type of stuff. Pretty cool space as well, a little, little small but different from some of the other shops so definitely recommend checking Add Up out. So Mikmo seems to be everywhere. <laughs> this is another Mikmo, we're gonna go upstairs. Check it out, eh? Checked out Dylan, tried on these two sort of black button ups. I wasn't feeling it to be honest, the first one was like 4,800, the other one was like, can't remember now, it was a bit too big for me, a bit oversized. I am sort of looking for that type of garment, I guess, at the moment, sort of a black overshirt. It's a bit oversized, but that was a bit too much and the material wasn't too comfortable. So, Dylan was a great shop, but uh, move on to the next one, eh? So, what are your thoughts on Shimu so far, Ka? Not bad. Don't have enough money to be here, but <laughs> thanks, boy. <laughs> 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 So we're on that street I talked about in the, my episode 2 with heaps of shops. I'm gonna go up, this one's called Damage Done. Let's check it out, eh? <laughs> The damage done, decent shop bro, it was like two different areas, so like just the vintage sort of workwear on the right side, left side's more I guess a lot of new products, so maybe it's probably like dead stock, Kaha, Dickies, a lot of polo sport as well, some new balance shoes. Ended up copying that sort of grey quarter zip uh, pullover in size extra large. It was about 5,000 yen, real good. AJ ended up copying something as well. What did you get Kaha? Damage done. Damage done to the wallet. <laughs> Damage done to the wallet. How much, cuz? <laughs> Doesn't want to tell us that. Eh? <laughs> <laughs> Inside Trey Fack. Heard a lot about this place actually. Probably won't be able to film inside, so definitely recommend if you're in Shimo, check out Trey Fact. Let's go. Here outside, do it style. It's got two different sort of shop fronts right outside. Stock things like polo, and I've seen a couple of snow beach items here as well, a lot of NBA, a lot of Jordans, a lot of different consignment pieces as well. But check it out, eh? Feeling pretty tired now, so we're gonna go home, head home, you know. Pretty successful day to be honest. I picked up some stuff, AJ picked up some stuff, went back to Shimo as well, checked out some good shops, yeah. You know, so pretty happy. I so hope you guys enjoyed it. It was fun, man, it was fun, eh? It's real fun, eh? It was real good, eh? <laughs> AJ had fun as well, first time in Shimo. So thank you again for watching guys. Take care, God bless, especially during this crazy time.
I'll see you guys in the next one, eh? No one knows when soon is. Soon could be next year. Soon could be two years, you know. But could soon be after this year? Could be. But I will. My pride won't let me leave because someone else is going to push me out. I'm going to leave on my own terms.